Significant travel impacts not only to the airways but the roadways as well. Wet weather will include snowfall, heavy rain, sleet, freezing rain as a winter storm crosses the country. Biggest impact aside from travelers will be the livestock industry, especially those calving across the northern plains. The biggest impact of the winter storm will hit South Dakota, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. Some of the deepest snow shown right here around Minneapolis and going off to the west where upwards of two feet of new snow possible. Plus lots of wind, so drifting will be an issue. The storm is already producing quite a bit of heavy wind. This is my gauge in Douglas County, Colorado. 65 mile per hour wind gusts happened at 550 on Monday morning. You can see other local weather stations across the country and webcams too at ambientweather.net. For this daily shower, let's focus on a few dates here, the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, and then we'll look at the hazards as we go into early March. That's straight ahead in today's daily shower. Matt Makins here. I hope this video finds you doing well. Severe weather in terms of snowfall, winter storm severity index, focuses on the northern plains in the upper Midwest, as well as a lot of the Rocky Mountains, the Sierras, and the Cascades. Fly that map in from Pierce, South Dakota. There's Aberdeen. Here's Mitchell, Sioux Falls, Brookings. Stretch that out towards St. Cloud, Minneapolis, Lakeville, Eau Claire, Wausau, Green Bay, all within major travel impact, major severity in terms of winter storm. That's mostly going to be the combination of wind and snow, but factor in cold as well. Snowfall totals stretching from the northwest over the Rockies, over the northern plains, into the Midwest, Great Lakes, and then eventually into New England. Let's fly this map in. We'll start off from the west and move off to the east. For the Pacific Northwest, the Cascades running right down here. So as we go from the Cascades and then eventually down to the Sierras, we're going to be pushing two feet of total snowfall and in some cases more than 30 inches. For the Rockies, here we have Polson. We have some of the northern Rockies here to the west of Great Falls. They're going to be picking up two feet easily. Jackson Hole and the Teton Range there picking up more than two feet of snowfall. The same as you go down to the Wasatch, down through Salt Lake City, as well as some of the Mosquito Ranges and the Northern Front Range Mountains from Colorado into Wyoming. As far as the Northern Plains, here we have Montana, Wyoming. Now we're moving over the Dakotas and moving out toward Minneapolis, which we'll zoom into in a moment. But around Pierre to Rapid City and Lead, we have Snowfall totals approaching one foot, factor in wind, a lot of drifting. Some of the snowfall kind of tapers off right around I-80, but it's high as you go over I-90 and northward, so Bismarck is kind of the northern fringe there. Let's fly down toward Minneapolis, and there will be sections of Minnesota here from Minneapolis off to the west that will approach two feet of total snow during the course of the next couple of days, especially focused on Wednesday and Thursday. Take that bullseye, it decreases as we move toward Wisconsin. So we have Green Bay sitting at around eight to 12 inches. And then we have Michigan here from the UP on down to the mainland, the mitten there. We have mostly right around 10 to 12 inches possible. There may be some isolated cases where more than a foot is possible. Let's head toward the mid-Atlantic and the New England states. There's a bullseye here, kind of north of Albany, northwest I should say of Albany, and off to the east of Watertown, and that'll be approaching 8 to 10, perhaps 12 inches of total snow. Let's look at rain, freezing rain, sleet, all those kind of precip totals. You can see the map for the next three days, a vast majority of the country gets some precip. Now we'll focus on this swath right in here, because all of this was in the form of snowfall that we just chatted about. But as you look from Oklahoma City toward about Fayetteville and then stretching that line up close to St. Louis, Columbia, Quincy, on up toward Chicago and Detroit, there's a swath of very heavy rain there, perhaps some severe weather included. That's going to be more than an inch to an inch and a quarter of total rainfall. And then you get into the purple colorations and that's going to be an inch and a half to two. So around the Chicago area, southward toward Bloomington, and stretch that out towards South Bend and Fort Wayne up to Detroit and Lansing. That entire area, again, is upwards of two inches of total precip on the way. I'd like to know where viewers are coming from. Let me know in the comments section where you're from and conditions where you are. That covers winter storm traversing the country. Let's talk about the impacts coming our way next week. Now, we do have cold on the way for this time, 22nd to 24th here, across all of the northern tier of states. That's going to be the cold, but it's a lasting cold. As we get into next week, the 25th through the 26th, we still have the cold gripping so much of the northern tier and off into the west as well. And plus, mid-Atlantic to Maine, we're going to have some very cold temperatures there following this winter storm. Impactful snow areas on the way for next week, the 25th through the 3rd for the Cascades, the Sierras, and the Rockies too expect periods of very heavy snowfall. The 25th 
through the 28th is going to be an area from the Great Lakes through mid-Atlantic to New England states for heavy, impactful snow. Impactful rain areas, the 25th to the 3rd, all along the west coast. Then look off to the east, Osage country from around Oklahoma. Stretch that out over the mid-Mississippi into the Ohio and Tennessee valleys. Appalachians, then out toward New York City, Philly, and D.C., risk of heavy precip from the 25th to the 27th. And finally, wind. It's been an issue with this latest storm system. Wind will continue to be an issue with the ongoing weather pattern staying active from the 25th to the 3rd for that region out to the west and southwest, and then high winds around the 25th for the mid-Atlantic and New England region. If you like the format of these videos, just the quick headlines give you the bullet points of what weather is coming your way, let me know by hitting subscribe and then the alert bell, and then you'll know whenever I post something new. That's today's Daily Shower. Matt Makins here. That's the data as I see it. Blessings to you and yours. We'll see you next time.